Hare Krishna. So here's a question about space expedition. Did we actually reach other planets? Did we land on the moon? Shushla Prabhupada, in 1969, when the moon landing expedition happened, he told his disciples that this is not possible, that this was a fake, this was not true. And it was such a big pride for the Americans that many disciples of Shila Prabhupada at the time, they felt very hurt by Prabhupada's statements and they even left ISKCON, they left Prabhupada, thinking that how he can say such a thing when we are watching it on television. But Shila Prabhupada says, no, this is not possible. How can they land on the moon? The moon, Chandra Loka, is a pious planet. It's a punya planet. You cannot go there in this body, in this karma, in this life. You need a lot of credits to go there. It's such a spiritual place. Right? So then uh, Prabhupada just you know, asked the devotees, what did they find there? They said, Prabhupada, they did not find anything. It was all barren, empty, no water, rocks and dust. Prabhupada laughed and said, how can a heavenly planet be like that? How can a swargik planet be like that? And he said, this, this, this earth is earth-based, sun is fire-based. Similarly, Chandra Loka is water-based, Prabhupada says. Right? That it's cool. It's, an, it's a very cooling planet. Because we feel the moon rays here very cold. That means the planet is also very cooling. So then Prabhupada says that, uh, okay, maybe they have landed on some other planet, some other asteroid or some other things. Even we remember that when we were younger in science, they used to study nine planets and the ninth planet was called Pluto. And just around some decades ago, they decided that, no, 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 Pluto is not a planet. Pluto is one of the satellites of the other planets. So they dismiss it. You know, then what was our study all this while? So scientific discovery means basically a lot of changes in facts. It's not really scientific. So let's look logically why this is a little difficult to believe. First, the perception. So when we see the earth and the moon or whatever planet, there's a, there's a misleading perception because although on a flat paper, we understand that the shortest path between two points is a straight line, but because earth and all grahas, all planets are spherical, even in this world, the distance between two cities is not a straight direction. Because the earth is spherical, you have to go a little ecliptical, right? And uh, a curved fashion. If you go to a curved fashion, actually the distance is shorter. So similarly, from here, from this point, they thought that, you know, they're probably reaching the right place, right destination, and we have arrived by their calculation and means. But it could be a mistake. I mean, you should not forget that Columbus was looking for India with all his coordinates, directions, and everything. And he ended up in America. Second logical point is that if we remember, the Russians were the first in space. This happened in the uh, in the 1960s. And then uh, there was the Cold War at the time also between Russia and America. And then Kennedy, president of America at the time, he announced that by the end of the decade, by the end of the 60s, America will walk on the moon. And exactly 1969, the moon landing ex exhibit, uh, expedition happened. Now question comes... Russians, when they went to space first, they told that moon landing is impossible. So much of uh, radiation and this and compression and this and that, it's very difficult, not possible. Americans did it. But then, since then till today, more than 50 years, why could it not send any other man on the moon again? So much technological advancement, they are stating costs. The cost is very costly, but in between so many missions have gone, space station is there, this is that, that is that. They send rovers on some other asteroids or planets. They have, you know. So, uh, why could not they send another man in despite of so much technology? And things are getting cheaper. If you look at it, those days when the first iPhone came out, it was very costly. Now, ev everyone has an iPhone. So, technological advancement and uh, affordability is also happening. But still, nobody is going again. Why? Something wrong somewhere. So whatever they may be sending their rovers or their people or their space stations here and there, it all could just be around the Earth's asteroid belt, different places, different these things. All right. Whether really they actually went and landed in some planet, it doesn't seem very possible because the planets are huge and planets have different... Uh, Prabhupada gives an example, like just to go to different countries, you need visas, you need qualifications. So similarly, to, uh, to go to other planets in the self-same body, it's very... Uh, not possible. In our Shastras, we have the story of Ravana who wanted to build a staircase to heaven. You know, physical, material attempt, mechanical attempt to defy the laws of nature. 
So overall, in conclusion, Shla Prabhupada says that wherever it may be, this world, that world, this planet, that planet, everywhere in the material world, the conditions are the same. Birth, death, old age and disease. Wherever we go, there is not going to be happiness. Wherever we go, there is not going to be any permanent position. Therefore, the real intelligent thing is to desire to go back home, back to Godhead. This Prabhupada explains very nicely in his book, Easy Journey to Other Planets. Hare Krishna.